See you later, mate. Okay, next day here. Um, so we got a lot of the, um, the scuffing of the car done. Uh, there's a few bits and pieces I've missed. Um, also, we're getting closer to the um, point where it potentially is going to be picked up for um, being painted. So um, all our hard work in episode five about putting the door cards in, I'm going to have to now take out um, and start removing the lock handles, the um, the wing mirrors. I'm going to leave the trim on till last because I don't want the water getting in the car. And I'll just tape up the other bits. Um, it is starting to rain as well, so possibly might not get this all done today. Um, but let's start. Two and drivers. Now we can work on getting the wing mirrors off. Okay, so I need to get these wing mirrors off. And they're actually a lot easier than they are on the 8P models. So I don't know if you can see in there, but in these little holes here, there's three points where the wing mirror bolts to the door. So if I undo these, literally clip off this here, um, I should have the wing mirror off. That should be pretty simple. Um, Obviously, the, the loom on the wing mirror is tiny compared to the other ones. On other models like 8P, the wing mirror wiring loom runs all the way down here inside the door, and it's a right pain you have to get off, but this one seems pretty easy. So let's get on with that. Okay, a really important part in this. Um, whilst the loom is really short, it actually wraps around the back of the door where the window mechanism goes up. If you don't get that right, you can continue just to pull this and it won't come. You need to take the speaker out of the bottom there um, get your hand up, spin it round the back of the window mechanism and then bring it up, otherwise you'll never be able to get it out and you'll end up pulling this apart out of the wing mirror here. Let's go on to the passenger. Um, first of all, it started to rain again. Um, unclip here. Pop that down there. Okay, so it's got one more, one more clip holding the cable on, which has been released. It should, in theory, and that's how you take the window. The window, the wing mirror off. Okay, so now we'll take the wing mirror off. You can see where it's shiny, where I need to scuff. Um, so I'm going to get that done as well in a minute once I've taken off these handles as well. Let's crack on. Okay, let's get this door handle off. So, um, I believe all the um, handles, which do not have a lock, which is three of them, except the drivers, um, you just simply take this bit off. I say simply, it's probably gonna be hard on this. Take this part off. Oh. And there's a little moon moon thing in there, a moon-shaped thing in there. Um, and you're supposed to be able to um, get something in there, hook it and pull it out. This hook might be too big, but Let's try. No, that's too big. <laughs> there we go. So we've pulled it out. I don't know if you can see that. Um, just simply in there, I've pulled it. I probably need to come a little bit further. Um, and then that should release the door handle, apparently. Um, let's try and have a look. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. Um, that's that part off. Let's see how we can get the rest of the door handle off. So I think you just simply just slide the door handle backwards and take it off its resting place. See, we've got most of the door handle off i just can't work out the last part there is a torx little bit in there which might need to be removed as well okay and there's a little sensor on there if you can see that that was quite easy pop that off and um, 
probably just going to just pop that back in there. I need to remember to get that once we're done. Um, let's take these rubbers off as well. I don't need these. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the door handle off. That was simple. Okay, same method on here. However, in there, really, really, really far in there. Let me show you. So this is what a finger length there. Let's see how far it goes in. Okay, so we're that far in. We need to unhook that little moon thing again and try it. So let's have a go. This one's obviously a lot more fiddlier. Okay, we're gonna have to improvise. I can't get it with um, that little um, pick thing. So I'm gonna get this metal thing here and bend it um, to a certain angle and hopefully it'll reach in there and be able to pull it. See, I've just got a little bit on there. Let's try that. Little less bend. see that but that's the type of hook I'm making let's see if it works now That's the type of angle you want to make on the, the little pick thing and they soon come off. Let's get the other doors done. I won't bore you with me taking the handles off every single one. So, driver's door is a little bit different. Um, we've got two sort of torque screws in here. Can you see them? Um, which is a hell of a lot easier than those stupid little half moon shape things. So I presume I'm literally just gonna undo that, pop the lock off change that one anyway because that's still the old lock um, from the old, from the other door and he's put my lock in there hopefully undo both of those and pop that out let's give it a go okay so it gets a bit stiff there I'm going to undo this as well just in in case that does something. I have no idea, no idea what these are doing. Um, but that's all the way out and the other one stayed in. So let's see if the lock comes off now. Oh, perhaps I didn't want to take that bit off. I want to take the lock off. Lock is out. And um, what I did is actually undone that little, undone that too far. And um, you don't want to do it too far, just till it gets to that sort of, a, just before the biting point, and it will slide this out. That was really easy. I'll leave that handle in, because I still need to get into the car. So there's a painter, but I'll, I'll take it off to sand round and then put it back on. Cool. Okay, so we've got the door handles off. Um, next on my list is to have a look at the rear lights, how I get those off. Um, so I'll start cracking on with those. And then I need to look at how do I get the side skirts off as well. And then I think, bar taking off all this old tape stuff, which I'm gonna need to do. I think it's almost ready to go to the paint. I obviously missed a few bits here and there. But it's not as matte as it could be. Um, but I'll get I'll start working on those as well this afternoon. Okay, so we're at the tailgate is um, partly sanded or scuffed. I need to get these tail lights off. So let's have a look, see how to do that. Okay, so we've got an access point just here. Let's see what's in there. 
okay i can see um, a few tens one two and one hiding in there you cheeky hopefully i can get to that without taking all this trim off i don't want to take all this trim off just for that that's for sure okay let's get on it the other one okay it's time to get the skirt, side skirt off these are just clipped in and sort of bonded on with that you know the double-sided tape I believe let's try and find out <laughs> let's work this in first So there's a, like a mounting point here and it's hooked hooked in over like that so you need to pull it up and then cut the or prise the double solid tape off okay here we go it's working it's quite sturdy it's plastic so you can give it a bit of force but not too much Now I've got the side skirts off and the door handle so I can start setting, sanding the bits I missed. Let's go. areas of where it's been oversprayed or anything so it was prior to me buying it um, quite original Second day I've been uh, kind of wet sanding, scuffing the whole car. Um, it's almost there. I've taken all the door handles off, etc. The only thing I haven't done is um, scuffed along this bit where this black trim is. I'm going to leave that to the bodyguard because I think he needs to take the trim off. And I don't know how long it's going to be sitting here till he comes and gets it. So we've had a good day. Um, we've got the whole car. I know it was scuffed the other day, but I've gone over it. We have missed spots, etc. Yeah, I'm going for matte black, obviously. <laughs> Joke. 
Okay guys, um, that's the end of me wet sanding, um, scuffing the car up. Um, I think I've done as much as I can before it goes to the body shop to try and save uh, the body man time. Um, we've taken off today, wing mirrors, interior door cards, door handles, rear lights and side skirts, scuffed everything up. Um, it's now a matte black car, I think it's a good look. Um, anyway, um, the next time I'll see you, this will be off to paint. Um, or maybe even back from the paint shop. I don't think I'm gonna be able to film at the paint shop. Um, it depends what happens um, with this coronavirus situation. So um, stay tuned and we'll be back hopefully next week. Fingers crossed. Okay, next week here guys. Um, the car's prepped for as much as I can for paint. Um, the body shop is coming to collect it today on a trailer. Um, I'm keeping well out of way of that. Um, we've just gone into lockdown, um, so I can't really go with it and start filming, etc. I've um, also bought, bought some bonnet hinges, um, just in case there's anything wrong with them. This one, the bonnet's sitting a bit high here, so possibly a dodgy bonnet hinge. So we'll get those gone with the car as well. Okay, so uh, the body shop's coming to pick up the car on a recovery truck. Um, obviously, it's not drivable, um, and I can't drive it. Um, not allowed out in these lockdown times. So they're coming to pick it up. It's going to go away for a few weeks. I'll hopefully get some updates um, from the body shop um, that I can update you guys on during the week, um, next week's video. So um, here he is now. Okay, um, recovery truck's here. So let's get the car sorted and loaded up. It's going to be gone for a good few weeks. See you later, mate. Car's gone. Um, you just seen it leave on the trailer. So uh, James, uh, the body guy, he's going to um, send me updates um, throughout the week, weeks maybe, depending on how long it's going to take. I suspect probably two to three weeks. Um, I'll try and continue to update you guys on here just to show you um, the progress when it's in the paint shop. Um, James has kindly said he'll send me photos and possibly be some videos. Um, so there's not going to be much of an update for, the, for a few weeks. Um, so I'll, I'll see you then. Or something else might come up. Stay tuned.